My lieutenant called me and it was on a Friday. I had just gotten off work and he called me and lo and behold, he was like, Collington, you have to be ready to roll out Sunday. Mind you, this is a Friday, so I just, I didn't know what to say. I just freaked out. My daughter was in, in the reserves, actually, and deployed. So she has three children, and I knew that I was going to be taking care of them, and I felt like I needed all the props, all the tools I needed, everything, everything to help me help them and also to help myself. Coping with deployments is not therapy. It's not individual therapy or group therapy. Um, it's more of an educational, informational um, course. You know, you've got to help yourself first before you can help anybody else. Um, you learn that there's more stress than physical. There's, you know, emotional stress and all kinds of things that it, I never realized that was stress on me. We start off with kind of sharing information and you know, giving them some ideas and tools and resources and things like that. And then as the course goes on, you know, they start to participate more as they're feeling more comfortable and they'll share more. It doesn't take long for people to feel comfortable and, and start talking. So we used to go out to eat a lot and do things together, share our responsibilities with our daughter. Now it's like being a single mom without him. You know, teaching her to walk, teaching her how to talk. I mean, he's missing the baby to toddler stage with our daughter, and there is so much happening. Um, he hasn't, I mean, he gets to watch her walk on the vid, you know, over Skype, but he has not seen it in person yet. You know, it's really hard, even though there's Skype and texting and email and cell phones and all these great ways of communicating that we didn't have in years past, that does not substitute for being in the same room with your loved one. I didn't really have to go and find anybody to care for my children while I would be gone. I always knew, always knew that it would be my mom that would, you know, take on that responsibility. So that part at least was out of the way. I didn't have to run and like maybe put two kids here, one here, or, you know, all of them in three different places. I knew that they would be here with my mom. Three kids uh, ranging, what, 10, 12, and 15 just getting up every day, getting them to and from school, uh, dealing with their teachers, uh, dealing with their stuff. Mama's gone, you know, and okay, there are gonna be some times that I'm gonna blow up. I'm just gonna lose it because of something they did, something they didn't do, or something I did, or something I didn't do. You don't hear a lot of families saying, wow, this is easier than I expected. This is going great and we're good. Um, most families you hear saying, wow, this is really a challenge and I could use some help with this. You don't know where to start looking. I mean, you can sit there and search on the internet for hours, but it's not that you're gonna find the right one that's specific for your need. People get just loads of resources and information that they can take home with them. They get a handbook so they can access this at various points after the course is over. Um, most people in the courses say that they didn't know there were all these resources available. You'll be surprised. We all think that we are resilient and, and that we can make it, but, but when you're actually in it, you find out kind of how much you don't know and how much you do need to have taken a course like this to point out coping skills, resilience, resources. You're not alone. Don't be afraid to ask. Coping with deployments will tap into your own um, strengths and resilience that maybe you didn't know that you had or, you know, kind of show you that you have some skills and abilities to cope with situations that may be stressful. You know, kind of took some of the, I guess, the worry off of me because I knew that she had somebody, you know, back in the rear to count on, count on or to depend on.